Hello friends, welcome to Oracle Apex Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create a workspace and start developing the applications. Oracle Apex, it is a low-code platform. This is the framework developed by Oracle. And here we just need Oracle SQL and PLSQL knowledge to create the applications. So first, we can go to in Google, just type Oracle Apex, then select the first link. Here you can see about the Oracle Apex applications. This is all about Oracle Apex, you can read it. Most of the companies they are started using Oracle Apex as their software development tool. So some few companies are Siemens, Accenture and so on. This is all about Oracle Apex. Then here if we want to start developing the applications, no need to install any software. It is just a browser based development tool. So first we need to create the workspace so here you can see request a free workspace select that enter your details once you enter all the details here you can give your workspace name anything like uh, You can select your location based on your country. So if you are new, you can select yes to the Oracle Apex. And here, do you plan to use Apex education or training purpose? You can select yes or no. Just accept the terms and conditions. Uh, and once you click request workspace, you will receive a confirmation in your email. So just uh, make sure you confirm the link from the email so that your workspace will be activated. So I already have a workspace. Now I will uh, go to that workspace to log in to see how the uh, workspace will look like and how to develop our first application. We can see that. So I will click here, already have an account, sign in. So this is the Oracle Apex workspace, development workspace. For any workspace, we need to have workspace name, username and password to log into the development instance. So my workspace name, it is currently this. And this is my username and password. Yeah. So once we log in, the application development window will be like this. We can see here App Builder, SQL Workshop, Team Development and Gallery. We will go one by one. First, I will explain about the SQL workshop. If you click here, you can see object browser, SQL commands, SQL scripts, utilities and RESTful services. So in this video, we will cover object browser and SQL commands. If you go to the object browser, You can able to see all the database components in the database. 
so currently when you request for the workspace it will automatically create a oracle schema for you and you can see that schema from here in this schema there we can create tables we can create views indexes sequences anything like uh, whatever we do in oracle database we can create here so if you want to see the tables just click here so it will expand all the tables in this schema currently i have so many tables these are the views indexes like this so this is about object browser if we see sql commands SQL commands it is nothing but we can write SQL queries into it so here you can see the output of the SQL query not only queries we can also write the DML processes to create the tables I already have this table so it gave me the error like name is already used by an existing object And also we have here save button for example if you want to save this script for your future reference we can just use save and give some name our script is already saved so once you see here saved sql you can see all the scripts saved by you also here we have various tabs to see the results of the currently executing query and explain here it will show some query execution plans and describe it is for the table to describe in history here we can see the queries run by us in past so this is about the SQL commands we can also create table from the object browser if we if you don't know the script we can just create tables from the UI provided by Oracle Apex so all we need to do is click on table you can give the table name here and you can add the columns we can also select the data type from here so here also it is validating because the test table it is already exist we can we can go uh, into depth for this creation of tables procedures functions everything in the next tutorial for the time being all we are concerned so, sorry now we see SQL workshop under that object browser is completed and SQL commands is completed so if we see app builder we have create 
import, export and some workspace utilities. Just click on the app builder. So here we can see already existing applications and here we have some easy navigations for creating applications, import, dashboard and workspace utilities. Thank you guys. In the next tutorial we will go, we will learn how we can create the application in simple clicks. Thank you. Thank you for watching videos. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.